So a while ago, I made a post about Casey Jones in the comic books has now become like this Power Rangers like entity. And I'm like, you know, this is why we need to be reading the comic books because the comic books are awesome. Y'all need to be reading this stuff. And someone in the comments actually pointed out, it's like, you know, what I really dislike is how when people say comic books suck and are going downhill, they are only talking about Marvel and DC. Meanwhile, the indie space is just thriving. And he is straight cooking. He is preaching to the choir with this statement. Let me explain. So in recent times, you probably see stuff where people are slamming comic books and saying how, oh, manga's better and this way or that way, or whatever argument they say, when they refer to comic books, they refer to Marvel and DC only. Just like how manga isn't exclusively Shonen Jump and Viz Media, comic books aren't exclusively Marvel and DC. There are other companies out there like Image Comics, Dark Horse, Boom Studios, IDW Publishing, and Valiant Comics slash Entertainment. But when building their arguments to any of these people, think about this? No, not, not really. Let me just give you an example. Weebs love to use this argument against comic books saying, all you have to do is just start at volume one with manga, but with comics, you have to basically go jump through hoops. And it's like, bruh, Spawn is a thing. Just pick a volume one and continue reading. But they don't know that because all they see is Marvel and DC. No, but let's just keep the, let's talk about Marvel and DC in terms of the whole complexity to keeping up. That problem is easily counteracted by the invention of omnibuses. Decades of lore streamlined into one fat book. Back on topic. Another point that likes to be brought up in these videos is like, oh, well, anime tends to be more creative and this, that, and the other, or whatever. And it's like, <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, okay, yeah, keep, keep telling yourself that. But let me just debunk this argument for a second. Sandman, The Preacher, V for Vendetta, The Boys, Watchmen, and Sweet Tooth all came from DC. Yes, you heard me. Nah, I ain't even finished. Let, let's keep going. Wanted, Kingsman Service, Walking Dead, Old Guard, Sin City, Surrogates, MIB, Oblivion, Sabrina, Push, and The Mask were all comic books before they were movies. All of them. Go look it up. So while Marvel and DC may be generally going downhill, indie companies are either doing just fine or doing better, actually. And let me level with you. The reason why I'm so passionate about this is because I don't want comic books to get a bad rap. I feel like be just because Marvel and DC are doing bad, not everyone wants to say all of comic books are doing bad. And I don't want new people who are interested in comic books or wanting to get into comic books to now be turned away from these false statements. And then, but oh, manga is oh so cool. The meat, the industry that has an ongoing child toucher problem. The same industry that sucks when t in terms of representing women. The industry that will borrow from all kinds of people, but is still fairly racist. All in all, just remember when you say comic books are going downhill, specify and say Marvel at DC is going downhill. Oh, and if you want to see more videos, uh, you can like, comment, and subscribe and share it. You know, just if you want to. Please. <laughs>